Visa Yab Migration Services, managed by Dr. Siros Ahmadi, invite you to watch the community TV show. Persia is home to one of the world's oldest, most continuous major civilizations with historical and urban settlements dating back to 7000 BCE. When the human evolution comes to the stage of civilization, Persia was one of the first countries in the world to be built up of different cities with certain characteristics in technology and cultural developments. Persia was then continued with the world's first and biggest empires for thousands of years with certain geographical boundaries and powers. Today we're going to have a chat with Mr. Fashat Safavi who will be taking us further into the rich Persian culture, history and tell us more about the Persian community here in New Zealand. So, let me take you there. very much for joining us today. Um, just before we start the whole uh, uh, questions about uh, the Persian culture and the history of uh, Persia, I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you for having me here. My name is Fashat Safavi. I've been living in New Zealand for a long time, nearly 27 years, actually since 1995. Uh, currently, I'm working in the Traffic Control Department of Waitimata District Health Board and I am also a certified translator and interpreter for the Persian community. And I am also a member of the uh, Persian uh, community in New Zealand. Uh, I don't know what else you want to know. Yeah, no, thank you so much for sharing that. Now we know a little bit about you. And could you please share with us a little bit more about the history of Persia so the sure. audience at home are familiar with it as well? Well, Persia has a long time history, actually. It has 3,000 written history and it has uh, more than 7,000 years uh, unwritten history. Actually, uh, Persian history is too long, but long story short, uh, I would like to focus on the founder of Persia, Cyrus the Great, uh, who was the founder of Persia, and he was the founder of the Achaemenid dynasty. It was the first worldwide empire in the world before Greece and Rome ever existed. The person who uh, united the little pieces of Persia and founded uh, what we call uh, well, Persia or Iran of today. Uh, Cyrus the Great uh, was a just ruler who was ruling about uh, four fifths of the universe of his own time. Actually, Cyrus the Great was a just ruler that introduced human rights to wherever he ruled. And people were free to uh, practice their own religion, faith, and culture. 
in any way they wanted. And it was a new thing in his own time. Actually, Cyrus the Great uh, declaration of human rights was parallels to uh, the universal human rights declaration of today. And his writings, his instructions were all recorded on a clay cylinder which is kept in the United Nations and it is translated into six languages of the world and uh, I can explain more about this later. Thank you so much for sharing that. So with the rich culture and history of Persia, why do you think that many Persian people are migrating from Iran to New Zealand or other countries? What is your point of view on that? I think this is the nature of any human being to seek for any better place to live in. And Iranian community and people are also of no exception. So they try to live in better places and a study in better universities and find job in better countries to live in. And uh, in the last uh, 40 years or so, many Iranians have come to multicultural countries like New Zealand, Australia, United States, and they've been living here to enjoy the benefits. So I know that you're on the board of directors of the Persian community here in New Zealand. Could you tell us a little bit more about the organization? Well, uh, Persian community is a small community in New Zealand. However, we have done lots of activities, educational program, arts, uh, concerts, and so on. So uh, we have done lots of good things in the past, but these activities have not been ongoing. And uh, we expect to make it ongoing if we can get New Zealand government support and then we can direct the New Zealand community to a better positive environment that they can serve this country better. Of course, I agree with you on that. And that actually brings me to another point, because um, as you know, the Persian community, they want to be more active. The people want to be more active within it. And you brought a good point that New Zealand government could do something more a little bit and support us. Um, so what can the people do specifically um, to contribute to the New Zealand society? What's your point of view on that? Uh, I think uh, people can uh, be more proactive in this regard and uh, I know that Persian community have been able to do a very good individual uh, activities uh, but they have had the lack of unity so if they be more united and uh, also uh, get some support from New Zealand government and some sponsorship I'm sure they have the ability to uh, continue these activities and be more positive to New Zealand society. Right, so that actually brings me to a point that you said earlier because a lot of people from Australia would like to come to New Zealand, Persian people and uh, vice versa and the other way around from New Zealand to Australia. Yeah. So how do you think we can link these two communities together so we can learn from each other um, and achieve more things and have more profitable events, more educational events, What's your point of view in regards to that? Well, I have seen the migration uh, have been from both sides. Many uh, New Zealanders are coming to Australia uh, for their own reasons. I mean, in New Zealand, Australians are coming even to New Zealand. And that's the same for Persian people living in New Zealand and Australia. They also come here for some, better, some job opportunities if they find a better job here. Or vice versa, they can go to Australia to find better job opportunities there. Uh, I think the Persian community here is very small, but even though they have uh, small resources, they can do still great things. And since community is much bigger in Australia, so the businesses uh, here and there can be more connected to get more power. And they can work together to achieve better results, you know. One example uh, is uh, inviting the singers, as I told you. Uh, you know, when they invite a singer from Los Angeles, it's not profitable for uh, him to come only to New Zealand and go back because, you know, it's a long way and it's not profitable and the population, or the tickets they sell are limited. But when they you know, cooperate together and somebody else sponsors him in Australia, then at the same time the same singer can come to both New Zealand and then to Australia and make it more profitable. 
and make these programs uh, ongoing and more active. You know, this is just an example, but we can uh, go beyond that and uh, encourage the New Zealand uh, businesses to work with uh, Australian businesses to work together to achieve better results. That's all I can say. Of course, I agree with you on that because our ultimate goal is for the New Zealand Persian community and the Australian Persian community to be linked together. We can learn from each other, provide more resources and uh, also contribute to New Zealand society and we can learn more from New Zealanders and they can learn from us and all together united living under one roof. So I really agree with what you just said. So thank you very much for joining us in this interview, Mr. Savavi. It's a pleasure to be able to speak with you about the Persian community, the history of Persia and I hope the New Zealand government, as you mentioned, could provide a little bit more support to the community so we can achieve goals, put some educational programs on and contribute to the society and contribute to New Zealand as a whole. So thank you very much for that. You're welcome, God willing, and uh, I wish the good things to come for the generations to come. Thank you very much. And don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more on The Community TV Show. Where would you like to live? Where is your second home? How far would you care to follow your dreams? This EOB will help you obtain visas for Australia, New Zealand, Europe and Canada. We will also support you with company registration, business investment, job offers and settlement services. We will show you the optimal path. We will walk every inch of the way with you. Choice, not chance, makes destiny. Caspian Store is providing a range of Persian products to you. From sweet candies, dates, nuggets, or tahini halva, to ready meals, Persian food conserves, vegetable pickles, olives, rose water, and fruit jams. You will find it all in our shop. Would you like to try the tarum rice with Persian saffron or special spices? Dehydrated herbs and fruits for a delicious cuisine? Or just try our fresh dairy products? Then what are you waiting for? We welcome you to visit Caspian, your Persian shop in New Zealand.